My name is Paul Buford Fancher. I was born in Tennessee and lived in Chattanooga until I left and went off to college. I haven't lived there since. I was in the commission in ROTC in college, called up as a reservist in the Korean War, served in 1952 to 1954. As a teenager, I joined the Tennessee National Guard and served five years in the field artillery. Also, I served another three years in the Army Reserve after I came off active duty. Well, I went over to Korea, and first I went to Busan. About a month, was a manager of a film exchange where we had commercial films and loaned them out to each of the troop units to show at night to the troops. Then I went up to a place on the northeast, or on the east coast of Korea called Sokcho. Sokcho Ri is a small village, fishing village that had a harbor. And I was a signal officer uh, in charge of the signal section in the Port Operations Detachment. And the detachment unloaded ships, mainly LSTs that we ran up on the beach. You sent the cargo out on the beach. People came down and helped it helped us. We supported the Eastern Front. In Korea, everybody seemed to buy a camera, so I bought me a Argus C3 camera, colored slide camera, and just started taking pictures. Sokjo Ri was a small fishing village. It, well, it had been devastated by the war. They had no paved streets, no electricity, no sewers, no nothing. And I just went around taking pictures, held her skelter, just to show them to my family when I got back. I don't know how many rolls I have, but today I have about 275 slides. My daughter was a, a missionary in the Philippine Islands. She invited us, my wife and I to come over and see her in the Philippines. And of course, I left Korea. I never want to see the place again. But when we went back to the Philippines, I told my wife I sort of mellowed a little bit. I thought, well, I kind of had an anchoring to see Korea. So we went over and spent three days in Sokcho in a native hotel, and that was an adventure in itself. Then uh, we spent a seven-day tour of Welcome Back GI to Korea, but sponsored by the Korean government. But anyway, we went up to see the DMZ and we spent days in, in Sokcho. While I was in Sokcho, one of the officials of Sokcho found out I had all these slides and asked that I'd, if they could have them. So I sent them to the city of Sokcho. And eventually they wrote me and asked me could they put them in an uh, exhibition in the museum and I told them yes, it's all right with me. And then they asked me to come over and open the exhibition, so I went over and made a little speech. I told the interpreter, no matter what I say, you make me sound good. But they had an exhibition and I was I was really surprised at how emotional these city officials and museum officials were about these pictures. They, they said, thank you for these wonderful pictures. And I never thought of them like that. They said, we just didn't have anything like of the pictures of the city during this period because of the war and because of the devastation and everything. Nobody could afford anything like that. But anyway, I made a speech, opened the exhibition. They gave me a plaque and made me an honorary citizen of Sokcho, Korea. So that's the high point. <laughs> that was fun. Now this is the hat that I bought here in the U.S. just to show that I'm a Korean War veteran. But when I was over, I bought a hat, and they, I went over and was going to buy one. Every store I went into, they had a lot of hats, but they all said New York Yankees or something like that on them. So I went to a little shop and had them make a hat for me, and they stitched sock showing I don't know what else in Korean on that hat. And the Korean people that I run into are very appreciative of what the United States has done for their country. It, I get kind of emotional about it.